everyone, it's Laura from the blog ArtReallyHouse.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a laundry soap bar. I have shared a couple laundry soap recipes here on my YouTube channel before. I've showed you how to make a liquid laundry soap and also a powdered laundry soap. And for both of those recipes, you need to shred up a laundry soap bar to add to them. So I normally use a felt snappa soap bar or a Castile soap bar, but I decided that I could make my own soap bar and use that in my laundry soap recipes. So making your own soap bar will make this recipe even more cost efficient because you can make it very simply with just a couple ingredients. And also it's gonna make it more natural because you're gonna know exactly what's in your soap bar. Plus you can customize it and change out the different oils or fats that you wanna use in your soap bar to get the scent that you want and the texture that you want. So the first thing, when I started researching how to make your own laundry soap bar, I learned that you want it to be a hard soap bar. And so we're going to be using coconut coconut oil, making a 100% pure coconut oil cold process soap bar. So coconut oil by itself is very moisturizing and good for the skin, but when you mix it with the lye, it is kind of drying. And so this isn't gonna be a soap bar that you're gonna wanna use on your hands or your skin as much. I mean, you can, it's going to be made with safe ingredients, but it might be a little bit harsh on your skin. So I do suggest using this as a laundry soap bar. And you could also use this to remove stains and it's going to work well as a cleaning bar. So if you use it to get get stains out of rugs or maybe out of car seats or upholstery or things like that. As always, be sure to check a small area before doing a large area just to make sure it interacts okay with the material that you're using it on. Okay, so to get started with any cold process soap recipe, you are gonna need a digital scale like this one. This is a kitchen digital scale that has weight in, um, ounces. So I'm just going to measure my coconut oil straight into my saucepan because we're going to want to melt it over medium heat after we get it in here. And I'm going to add 16 ounces of coconut oil. This should make about six bars and you want it to be in the recipe. I always call for a five ounce soap bar. So this should make about six of those once this recipe is complete. So I'm just going to add my coconut oil to my saucepan. Okay, so now that I have all my coconut oil in here, I am just going to place this over the stove until it all is melted. And I'll do it over about medium heat because I don't want it to get boiling hot. In fact, you're gonna want it to cool back down to about 100 degrees before adding in the light water. Okay, so while that is melting, we're going to mix together our water and lye. And for that, you're gonna want to wear some safety goggles and some gloves because if lye gets onto your skin or in your eyes, it can be very dangerous. Um, once you mix the lye with the oil, then it, is, it isn't dangerous at all anymore. But while you're mixing at this part, you wanna make sure that you're in a well ventilated area. If you can go outside, that's good too. Right now it's pretty rainy here, so I can't be outside, but it is very open here in my kitchen. And also notice that I do not have my baby strapped to me like I do in a lot of my videos. It is always best to do this without any kids or pets around just to be safe. And then I was using safety glasses, but now I switched to these goggles because it's just more protection around my eyes to make sure I don't get any lye splash in there. So now I look like this to do the rest of this video. Okay, so first I'm going to get 2.7 ounces of lye measured out. All right, I'm just gonna set my lye aside and now I'm going to measure my water, which I'm doing 6.1 ounces of water. Now you can see this is very precise measurement, so if you wanna change anything up, you can use a soap calculator to get your correct numbers. Okay, so now I'm going to mix my lye into my water. Now, I know this seems weird, but you never wanna mix water 
into your lye, but only, you, only the lye into the water. And you wanna do it very slowly and just stirring it up. This is a really thick Pyrex glass bowl and that's really good to mix it in. And I'm just gonna stir it up and kinda let it dissolve in here. So I'm gonna do that now. And then as, this, as we mix the lye into the water, it is going to get very hot. So this is where you wanna be very careful and you wanna make sure that you're not breathing in the fumes. And then we're just going to set this aside. And then once our oils are melted, we will mix both of these together. Okay, so now that that's mixed together, I'm just gonna set this aside and wait for my oils to be melted. Okay, so now that my oils are all melted, I just transferred it to here because this is a bigger container, so it makes it easier to pour the lye in and mix it together. What we're going to do is we're going to pour the lye in kind of up against the side of this stick blender, and then you wanna mix it up until it comes to about a medium trace. So you can judge your trace by, while you're mixing it, once you're done, pull your stick blender up and let some of the soap drip down. And if it holds on top of the soap, then that means that it is at a medium trace. So that's a perfect trace level to have it at. And then you can add in your essential oils. Now essential oils are optional, but because this is for a laundry bar, you might wanna add in essential oils just to give that extra scent boost whenever you're doing your laundry. So lavender, orange, chamomile, those are some of my favorite essential oils to add into laundry soap. Um, anything floral, citrus, I think smells really nice. And then also tea tree essential oil, Siberian fur, rosemary that really gives it a fresh scent and it helps to remove odor and help with any type of musty smell so if you ever accidentally leave your laundry in your laundry machine before you put it in your dryer add a few drops of tea tree in there and it'll take away that musty smell so that's another essential oil that I like to add in so first we're gonna mix the lye in with our soap and then you can add in whatever essential oils that you want Give it another good mix with your immersion blender and then you're going to pour it into your soap molds. Now these soap molds don't require any type of extra prepping because it's made out of silicone and that they will not stick to that. You can just push them right out. But if you have a wood soap mold, you might need to line it with some parchment paper. And then if you are using essential oils, about 15 to 20 drops of oil in this amount of soap will be a good amount to get a good scent. Okay, so let's start off by mixing together our lye and oil. Okay, so now that I got my soap to come to trace, I'm just going to scoop it into my soap molds here. And then I'm going to leave them in these molds for about 24 hours to let them harden up. And then I can remove them from the molds and then I'm gonna let them cure for about three weeks and then they will be ready to use. All right guys, and that's it. That's how easy it is to make your own laundry soap bar. Now, like I said, this soap bar can also work really good at removing stains. So whenever it's all cured and ready to use, you can wet the end of it and then rub it into the stain that you have and then kind of work it in with the fabric and wash it on a normal load and it will really help to remove those stains. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. And if you have never made your own laundry soap, be sure to check out my recipes down in my description box below. I have my liquid and my powdered one linked down there. And I also have a link to my free essential oil masterclass where I show you all the different ways that we use essential oils here in our home. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.